Hi, this is Roman from AA Production and in this video I will show you how to connect Instacord with any synthesizer in Ableton. As you can see, um, I have Instacord loaded in one of, my, one of my MIDI track. In the other MIDI track I have this Nexus loaded. I also loaded um, a preset called Grand Piano. And uh, here is a proof that something is happening in the Instacord, but no sound is going out. That is what that is because you don't have the Instacord connected with the Nexus. So um, there is a signal going out. There is a middle si MIDI signal going out from Instacord, but you have to tell the Nexus to receive the signal, and you will do it the way that you will go to this MIDI from. You will select Instacord. You will also do the same thing for the second option. And in this monitor option, you will select in. And right now, you are fully prepared to receive a MIDI signal from Instacord. So I will go back to the, to the, to this playlist screen and I will open the Instacord and check this out. So this is how you can do it for basically any synthesizer or plugin you want. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Hi, this is Roman from AA Production and in this short video I will show you how to connect our new plugin Instacord with any synthesizer that you will find in your FL Studio. So for the purpose of this video I've loaded the Instacord and Nexus to my DAW, to my FL Studio. And what we will do now is that we will go to these settings menu and I will select, I will go, I will use this MIDI section and I will select um, an output port for Instacord. So, you know, you can basically select any number you want, but I just usually select the number one. So I set the output port to number one for Instacord and I will do the same thing, but for input port in case of Nexus or any other synthesizer that you want to connect with Instacord, that you want to receive, receive the MIDI signal from Instacord with. And I have selected the input co input port one. So at this time, uh, everything that goes from Instacord, uh, which is uh, basically the MIDI signal only because this is a MIDI processing plugin, it is being received by Nexus. I've selected this power ground preset. So right now, when I hit um, when I hit an action key or a chord key, uh, it will be. You'll, you will hear the Nexus uh, playing. You will hear the Nexus in action. You can change the chord like this. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Hello everyone, this is Steven with W Production. Thank you for purchasing our new plugin Instacord. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to route Instacord to your favorite VST instrument within Cubase. So we're just going to start by adding our instrument track. Go to select our W Productions Instacord. Great, so we've got that loaded up. Now we just have to choose whatever our favorite instrument is to use. So we're just going to stick with our trusted silent one. 
We're going to add that. Awesome. So now we have Instacord loaded up and whatever your favorite instrument is going to be that you're going to actually use. So typically, Cubase will route sound from one to all MIDI inputs, meaning if I have a MIDI keyboard in front of me, I can go ahead and start playing notes and it's going to you know, play the audio thusly. But in this particular case, I want it to receive the MIDI input from Instacord. So all I have to do is just click on this All MIDI Inputs button and just choose Instacord. Now Sound 1 is going to take the MIDI input from Instacord. It'll be important to have this Audio Monitor button on because that way, even if I'm not selected on this Sound 1 track or any other instrument track I might have routed to Instacord, it will still play the audio. So that's important. For example, if I was selected on a different track and I didn't have this enabled, even if I was hitting Instacord, it wouldn't be playing. So you might not think that it's routed properly, but it is. You just have to either have it selected or have this on. Now that we've got this enabled, we don't have to worry about it. So I can go ahead and click on Instacord, and now anything I play will trigger properly and you will hear the audio coming from Silent One. Now keep in mind, if you're not selected on Instacord, you're on a different track, and you're trying to use your MIDI keyboard, it won't work as well. You either have to have it selected, or of course you can just draw your MIDI in, and then you don't have to worry about it either. But that's the routing, and you'll be good to go. Thanks again for purchasing this plugin, and we'll see you guys soon.